Hello and welcome everyone to Space Simulation Toolkit and today as you can see I created a beautiful realistic planet with slowly moving continents and it was the process. So we're gonna go through how I did this, uh, some of the fun things we ran into and uh, I hope you stick around for the wild ride. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and tell me in the comments what you want to see me do next. Oh, look at the waves, look at the liquid. I love, I love liquid. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin this planet and we're going to see how fast we, because we've done a little bit of experimentation with this before, but I think we can push it a lot further. I think we can push it a lot, lot further. All right, let's go ahead and see if I can spin something this large. I can spin the grass and water off of the surface and the core of the planet. The core of the planet will move, but the uh, it looks like the stone, the stone just refuses to move. It's probably too much, too big of a piece. What? No, did I actually see that right? What, I can actually use the force and I can like stretch the stone inside of it? That's hilarious. Oh, what? Oh, I haven't even considered this. Since the rotation tool imparts a rotation like this, if you hit the right edge of it onto something like this steel, it actually spins it like a gear. That is really interesting. All right, so we are forming an absolutely massive planet right now. So large that the forces involved in just adding gravity are causing major, major things to happen. Look at these absolute cracks all over. This is like four times larger than the planets I've been using in the past. This is absolutely huge. And it's because I wanna try to get a more a more effective simulation out of this when it comes to uh, tectonic plates and magma. And then we're gonna do some funny stuff, like try to spin the core of this planet without spinning the outside. Technically the friction and the amount of grinding it's gonna cause should actually create more heat and energy, but we'll see what happens, all right? Oh! It ripped the metal core apart. I did not expect that to happen. I thought I was gonna keep it together. Oh, geez. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> oh boy. This is exactly what I wanted. And I just keep adding thousands and tens of thousands of particles to the center. And it's just eating them up. It's fine with it. The simulation is completely fine with this. Alright. Come on. Come on. Keep spinning. Keep spinning. We've almost got our mantle. Almost got our mantle working how I want it to be. Like, it's getting very large. It's getting very large and it's spinning and it looks great. We just we just need to get it to the point where it's affecting the actual surface. All right. All right. Okay. So now we have kind of what I want. It's kind of working. I don't know, maybe maybe I should test this on a smaller scale. I feel like I feel like the scale's actually hurting it at this point. Let's try something smaller. I just I wanna create a system that I don't have to I don't have to push along. Something that's stable on its own. Come on. Alright, more gravity? 
I think we've now hit the simulation's maximum gravity. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. Okay, I, I see I see the flow. Wait, here it is! Here it is! We're getting the flow! Yes! Okay, wait, do you see that? Do you see it? Let me click on some of the particles so you can see them go around. Look at that. So they're getting pulled around in a convection cell. And that's exactly what we want. The only issue is that it's not really affecting the surface. Come on. It's moving. What we have to do is we have to inject a little bit more stone into it. And the reason we have to do this is simple. We need the outside to get cool enough to become solid, which needs it needs to be further away. And I know we just literally did the opposite thing. I know we just did the opposite and got rid of the surface, but this is a balancing act. So it's easier to go from here. And we're just gonna keep adding just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. I'm gonna turn the C distance down a tiny bit so that I can draw on top of other particles. Did it work? Did it work? Oh, yo, 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 it's working. Wait, this is moving. It was moving. I literally have no clue what's going on. Okay, it definitely just formed some actual crust here. So, maybe... Maybe it's working. Potentially. Alright, I'm just gonna add more sand to the center and see what happens. Like, what's the worst that could happen at this point? We're at, like simulation maximum here we're pushing it as far as it can go oh 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 yes yes it's forming a crust yes wait yes yes let's go oh look it worked and they're moving they're actually moving over time. Look, it's forming. Oh, look at the crust rise out. Oh, and it's rising out over here as well. Is it still flowing under the surface though? That's the question. It looks like we may have lost. We may have lost some of that flow, that beautiful flow. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to reduce the power of this gravity to see if we can get the flow back. Come on. Come on. All this can't be for nothing. Yes, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. It's working. Okay. 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 This is literally crazy. We actually do have a proper flow going on now inside of a planet with a crust. The issue is the crust isn't exactly moving. So now what we're gonna do is we're very carefully going to try to rectify that by just shaving the crust down a little bit. I think it's just the weight of it. Come on. Come on, Mr. Planet. You need to entertain my viewers. I wonder what would happen if we injected some water in. Oh! Oh, man. Did you see that? Oh, my. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so yeah, maybe we didn't perfectly, perfectly simulate how the crust works. However, just injecting a tiny bit of water in creates so much pressure, it literally just explodes out. So maybe maybe this is fine, actually. I may actually be happy with this if I can get that to work on a larger scale. 
Oh, the water is falling back on. And that's causing it to form more steam. And it's also, the water is actually getting inside and causing some, some little explosions occasionally. Uh, we got like, we got like constant rainfall going on. And it's actually cooling down the surface and forming kind of a crust uh, over here. Over here, there's actually a little light going on. Oh, oh, you know what? This is actually kind of working. Maybe the water was a good thing to add. Inject a little bit more sand in and uh, see what happens. Like, look at that. It actually looks like a planet. And it, it looks pretty good. And it's got a moving molten core. I don't have the, the center made of metal because the center is the hottest bit and it would just immediately kill the metal. I do wonder though if I can maybe rectify some of the problems by putting that off center. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so if we go ahead and grab the sun and delete it. Now we've lost basically all of the power in the planet, but I'm gonna create a new one. Right, oh no! Oh man, all of the material on the planet just formed back into solid and just exploded. Okay, I'm gonna move the sun up here. Let's see what happens. Okay, the entire planet is now freezing. Um, but I want to see what happens if I do this. So let's go ahead and pump this up. Now I'm fully aware this is not in the center, but what I'm hoping is that putting it off center will cause it to mix a little bit more. No way to know until we try. Like this, actually actually kind of working okay 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 this is what i want to see this is actually exactly what i want to see it's even kind of doing the land thing i want it to but let's see if we do this if it'll spin up <gasps> oh no 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 <laughs> i should have saved oh no no, I did the metal on sea distance that was low. I did the metal on a sea distance that was low that causes it to, oh no. Okay, okay, it's melting the ice. No longer an ice age. We've got the, the convection going on under the surface. The ocean is actually managing to move around. The water is actually playing a critical role in moderating the level of heat that the planet has. Okay. Actually, this looks pretty good, except for the fact that all the oceans are boiling away, which looks a little bit less good. I think I made it a little bit too hot, guys. I think I made it a little bit too hot. It's a little bit... All right, half. But now it's it's not doing the thing anymore. We're not we're not getting the growing. So, I don't know if that means I need to add more material or if I need to make the gravity more intense or less intense or we can try making the gravity a little bit less intense, see what happens. Oh, yes, yes, that was the answer. Less intense gravity, look at that. It's actually, it's forming. Oh no, but it's not It's not doing the circle anymore. It, it is, it's forming, but it's not like doing it in the way that we want. It's doing it in a very boring way. Okay, let's kill the sun again. And let's move it quickly so that the entire thing doesn't explode up to here I feel like the offset sun was a good idea oh jeez every once in a while the planet just pops 
Do you suffer from popping planets? Well, you may be entitled to financial compensation. We have, we have a planet base now that A, forms a little bit of, you know what? When, when they add spawners to spawn a steady stream of material, this will be so much easier to do because you could just inject a tiny bit of water over time, honestly. But adding, adding water is still, has super cool effects. Look at the amount of pressure I just introduced over here. And it's still on enough to break through a little bit more. Poof! Look at that. Just goes flying. And then all of the snow comes back down afterwards. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now I'm kind of curious if I could make this a little bit more powerful by just putting another sun down here. You guys are going, oh god, he's doing it again. He's just tweaking things. I know. I'm a compulsive tweaker when it comes to this stuff. That sounded bad. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. Okay, right, let's see what happens if I do this. I think technically it should be over here though. Okay, one more change. This is at what, 613, 18. Okay, new sun here. Put this one at, shoot. Uh... Delete this one. And then I'm gonna move this one up to the top of here. Or maybe I won't. No, it makes the most sense. Okay. All right, what's that? Because it won't form, it won't form anything if the cold side is hot. So I need to go over to the hot side. I have to give the hot side just a little bit more of a push to get it even hotter. Come on. So this is the part that'll actually melt the surface. Because one part has to destroy and one part has to create. And this side should be the create side. Okay, here we go. So the crust is falling in here. and then it's going around here and the new crust is being formed over here or at least that's the idea you know what i think and I know I say I think a lot. The thing is, it's creating sand over here. We just have to fix that issue. If I can get it to stop making sand, I think we may actually have this balanced. It's doing almost exactly what I want. Oh my God, it's been an hour and 15 minutes of doing just this part. Oh man. Okay, it's fine. It's worth it to get a good video. Okay, uh, material stone. All right. This L damp has been the variable that seemingly... Here we go! Here we go! Okay, turning L damp up did get us more stone being created now. It seems like if you push it too far, it stops having that effect. So I'm going to push it a little bit further. No. Now it's bad. A little bit less. A 
more. I'm gonna leave that 1.5. I played around with damp earlier too. If I turn damp up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Turning damp up as well. Now it's forming a steady stream of stone. This is exactly what I want. All right, so on this side of the planet, the crust is slowly being eaten. It's being pulled in, and then it's being swooped around to the other side of the planet where it's then forming new stone. So now I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm just going to let you guys watch. I'm always talking at you guys and doing crazy stuff, but I think with this game, having some just time lapses is probably going to be pretty cool. So go ahead and enjoy watching this planet grow and change over the next, I don't know, probably half hour or so, and we'll see what happens. I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, definitely subscribe. Otherwise, I will melt your planet. Sure, I'm on the planet too, but it's worth it to get you to subscribe. <laughs> Bye!